Salute to all my people. Y'all hit the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Hassan Campbell and him doing an interview with DJ Academic 69 Wack 100. At the end of the day, I'm sure it'll be a lot of traction for them dudes. But me personally, it, it's you know it's amazing to see how much dudes are talk so bad about you know whatever person until they can get them in their face, and then they just so excited to see them. The smile on that man's face, the endearment of being around the same people that he talked about as if they were nothing, as if they were you know less of men, they were a cancer to the community, and so many other things. The way you see him smile out about those same people to me. It's strange, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't really know the side of grown men that, you know, have so many bad things to say about somebody but be so excited to see them at the same time to have a conversation with them. I don't really understand that, but they go to show you the thing on YouTube as I speak about so many times. This is mostly an older black men thing that I see on YouTube, not in real life. On YouTube, a lot of the older content creators, you know, they will talk about people, bash people, you know, uh, harp on other people's name like he's done a 6 9 like he done a whack 100 like he done a Fat Joe that you seen him came back and apologized to Fat Joe. You seen him come back and apologize to Jim Jones and try to be friendly with however, and then he talk about whack 100 and 6 9 and they come back and see them. And to me, it, same with DJ Academics. He had a, a strong disdain for the academics, but then he come back and he want to be a part of his show. So to me, what I'm learning with a lot of these guys, they the way they do things is they want to go at you to get your attention. Then when they get your attention, I really just want to be your friend. Like, what type of men is these? What type of, you know, uh, I don't really care what the conversation about. Just to see them in the same room at the same time after you just was bashing these people. Um, to see you smiling so happy to be around them to me. I don't really understand that dynamic. I don't never mind seeing black men build. I don't mind seeing no men build rather than destroy. But at the same time, when your your only pitch for building is to first destroy you so I can get next to you to try to act as though I'm your friend, that 48 laws of power type, I really ain't really with that side of life. But nevertheless, to see Hassan Campbell, um, yet again, he, you know, his system is, seems to be the same where, you know, he would bash a person and be friends with that person, then try to slick some jabs at him to be friends again. And, you know, I understand it's a money game. I understand it will bring a lot of views. Hopefully this interview is powerful. Hopefully it's inspiring to a lot of young guys to put their differences to the side. I don't never knock that. But when a guy have a track record of a certain type of dynamic in the way he do things, at some point, me, myself, I just look at it like, you know, it becomes laughable. It becomes a joke. But for internet purposes, I'm sure it's going to do a lot of views. Um, he, he threw some clips out there with, you know, he was smiling with Wack 100. You know, and to me, he always looks strange when he's around dudes. Like, it's like he trying to force a laugh or force a good vibe or force an environment that really, truthfully, you know, within itself, he really talk about these people and have a disdain for these people for whatever reason. Uh, I don't, I'm not really with that side of life. Even on YouTube, right? When I see guys that dudes talked about them and had their wives and had their girlfriends and their children and beyond all over social media. And then, you know, in no time, they go be friends with these guys and say, oh, that's old. You know, me, when a person show you who they are, believe them. Y'all hear me say that so many times. I think I need to get a shirt made of it. But <laughs> when a person show you who they is, believe them. Me, I'm never the guy to be so quick to be acceptance or be friends again. They say forgive, but never forget. I'll forgive a person, but I'll never forget the way you betrayed me. I'll never forget, you know, the things that you've done into which where you know I didn't deserve it or you didn't even know me enough to put those allegations out about me, let alone put my wife or my children or my family or my, you know, my nieces, whatever, whatever it is that really matters to me in my world to put that out here to the world, you know, and then I come back and be your friend that ain't my side of life as a man it's not the principles integrity that i stand on nevertheless to speak to my people um like i say it's always good to see y'all you know spreading love it's easter today most importantly um i was gonna do a live stream but I, i'd rather you know just give y'all some content 10 minutes because if i can't devote at least an hour hour and a half to y'all you know i'll speak about the topic probably later on if y'all want to do a live stream y'all comment below and we'll do a live stream and expand further but outside of that i'll give y'all a little bit of clip into which where y'all see hassan campbell smiling and so excited to be around 6 9 and whack 100 um, when you just talked about those people for all this time, bashing them over and over again, and then to come back and be so excited to be around them, it's strange to me, but it's the character. It, it, it's his character. It's who he has been on YouTube in order to maybe stay at the top. Maybe that's what he feels as though first I'll get money going at you, and then I'll get money for talking to you. So I kind of get it, but at the same time, so at some point, you know, it's not always about money. What integrity do you have as a man? You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I see, I see that fight. I see that fight. That that fight. That Three on one. Three on one. Hey, listen. Let's like, <laughs> this shit off. This shit gonna be. <laughs> That's gonna get ugly. Mm. This is great. This is great. 
Hey, listen. Hey, nobody, you ain't safe, though. Safe to say it ain't safe outside. I'm gonna get that off. Yes, this is a liar. I don't lie. Liar ass. I don't lie. We talk. Yeah, yeah. You know all that funny shit you do. At what point do you say, you know what? I I don't like the character of them people. I don't even want to get money with them people. I'm talking real life. We were moving YouTube, y'all. Let's talk real life. At what point do you say, man, it ain't about the money. It ain't about the stature. It ain't about the opportunity. What I stand on as a man don't necessarily align with what I see from them. If you don't like a 6 9 and what he did, if you don't like a whack 100 in the game culture that he helped put in the front of a lot of people, if you don't like that, if you don't stand for that, then, you know, why would you go out your way to get money with these people? You know what I'm saying? Me personally, like I say, it's not always about money. Sometimes it's about integrity. It's about character. And what I see with our people, I'm not knocking the interview. I'm talking real life. You know, what I see with our people, we compromise anything for a dollar sign. I see that he has said something along the lines of, you know, this interview, interview getting ready to break the internet. It's getting ready, you know, you're getting ready to make a lot of money. Okay, cool. It may do break the internet. You know, it's going to get a lot of people talking, as I'm doing and many other people will do. You know, but if you're a person that truly felt all the things you said, if you, if you had a strong disdain for these people, you feel like they're poison to the youth. When we're talking about kids, when we're talking about children, when we're talking about the real elements of life, right? I'm not knocking nobody for, for, for branding or building, but at the same time, we're talking about these guys are poison to the youth. I'm not going to be smiling with these same people or trying to be their friends or trying to be, you know, seems as though it's, I'm happy to be around them. Like, we're going to break the internet. It ain't always about breaking the internet. It's about what do you stand on as a man? It's about what integrity do you have? Like I said, the interview haven't dropped. We will see further as they become available. But one thing I've seen with the history of a Hassan Campbell and many of these guys on YouTube, they first start out talking about a person because they really want to be friends with them people. They talk about them over and over again and hopefully get their attention so I can be your friend. I ain't really with that side of life. I see a lot of that with, as pertaining even on a smaller level with content creators is me and so many others. It's on a smaller level with guys that go at you every day. And all you have to do is say something like they way or positive they way and they really want to be your friend. That's a problem in our community. We feel like we have to kick each other in order to get either above each other or to try to stand parallel next to that guy because you really want to be next to him so you talk about him to get some attention from him because you really want to be his friend. Homie. At the end of the day, it's an embarrassment. You know, what's truly important to you? Talking to you, watching, what's truly important to you? Is the money more important than the integrity of what you said you stand on? I'm not holding you to no standard. I'm not holding you to nothing. This is things that come out of your mouth. If you feel like these guys is poison, if you feel like they are destruction, if you feel like they are whatever else in the world, why would I be so happy with a smile this motherfucking big to be around them same people and have an interview with them? Because at that moment, you feel as though you in the big leagues. You feel as though I'm on the big stage. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with the rappers, the same rappers I talk about. Now I'm sitting next to him and it feel good to do so. To me, I feel as though, you know, um, you're pushing the envelope of being a guy that's kind of contradicting in so many ways. But, you know, YouTube is contradiction. You know, everybody is contradicting in their own way. I won't hold that against you, but I'll just say that what do you stand on? If you say out your mouth, you don't like them type of people. Them ain't my type of crowd. They boule, they, they, they all this poison, destruction, and all these other things, right? Why would you then come back and be happy, smiling to sit beside those same people? What type of men do we know? When we look at ourselves in the mirror, what type of black men are we standing beside? What type of black men are we? Are we something that the kids can look at and say, you know what? What he stand on, what he said he stand on in real life and in the real world, he seems as though he truly stand on. It's no way they can watch you bashing all these people and then come back and smile to be around all these same people. To me, what's truly important? I understand you say you're going to break the internet. We're going to get a bag and all these other things. But that's the problem in our community. In close, I feel as though as long as money is attached to it, they say for the love of money is the root of all evil. As long as money attached to it, the kids truly don't matter. The neighborhoods truly don't matter. All them people that you claim you speak about, they, they truly don't matter if it means you're going to get a bag or break the Internet. You know, the Internet is a fake world. This is a facade. This is something to make you believe that these dudes truly care when in reality they truly don't. This is something to make you believe that, you know, you know this is something that they doing for the youth. They doing for, no, they doing it for own, their own financial gain. They doing it for themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just admit that. Don't, 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 don't talk about these people and they come back with a smile. This be for everybody, whether that's 6 9 whack 100 used to be, you didn't like DJ Academics. Now you done been on there two, three times. No, what are we really doing as a culture of people? We doing nothing no different than you see all the time. They got a lot of people in the graveyard where they smile and act as though they was your friend, only to backstab you and put you in the graveyard. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we will continue to go together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about the interview that's upcoming with 
Six nine, whack one hundred, DJ Academic and Hassan Campbell. Each one teach one love, respect one.